Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's my follow-up video on Android 14 Beta 2 because there are some features that I missed to mention in my previous video so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with the drag and drop feature and now it works system wide with Android 14 Beta 2 so let me show you some examples. Let's say I want to drag and drop this photo into a different app so I'm gonna hold it like this on the side then go to the home screen then open whatever app I want let's say keep notes and as you see it will give me this blue highlight so I can drop it over here not only this but it also works with text so for example when you highlight the text after you highlight the text you can hold it as well on the side and then go to the home screen open whatever app you want and then drop it in the text field and now it says this is a test so this is how it works and it works exactly the same as iOS the second change is related to the magnification feature under accessibility and here I have the shortcut activated to show you what's new when I activate the feature you will first notice that the floating window has more rounded corners and also the handle has a different icon uh, that looks different from the previous one and when you tap on it you will get a new floating card to adjust some settings that didn't exist before first thing you can do is to adjust the size of the magnification window or you can switch also to the full screen view and when you switch to the full screen view you will also get a new gear icon here at the bottom right corner that when you tap on it it will take you back to the same floating card so you can revert back to the floating magnification window if you want instead of full screen not only this but you can edit the magnifier size so when you tap on edit you can adjust the window size the way you want and once you're done you can tap on the X to return back to the normal view after that you have something called allow diagonal scrolling so normally when you use the floating uh, uh, the floating window as you see here I can only move right and left or up and down but now you can choose to allow the diagonal scrolling if you want so now you can move in all directions okay after that you have the ability to adjust the zoom level and that's pretty much it change number three is related to the call notification and you will notice here that the buttons are narrower when compared to the previous version and for reference here is how it looks on my 6 pro you will see here the buttons are much smaller change number four is in the at a glance widget you will notice here that i have the weather info on my home screen but once i go to the lock screen the weather info will disappear and if i have media controls as you see they appear much higher on the lock screen when compared to the previous version so once more on my 6 pro i have the same weather info but when i go to the lock screen i can still see my weather information and also the media controls are lower number five is a change in the verbiage used if your phone is charging slower than expected today i plugged my phone to the laptop usb port to charge it and i got this new message it says here issue with charging accessory and when i unlocked the device to read the message it says here battery charging slowly or won't charge check if the cable and power adapter work with your phone my phone kept charging normally but I got this new message which is the first time to see it on Android 14. Number six is a new warning that you will get on the screen when you listen to music in high volume and this is not related to the headphones. Let's say you are playing music on your car stereo at home or you are in a concert you will get this message on the screen even if your phone is not connected to any headphones and Mesha Rahman already shared how the message looks and I saw this message a couple of times while listening to music in my car it says here you have exceeded the amount of loud sound signals one can safely listen to in a week over headphones and going over this limit will permanently damage your hearing and all you can do here is to tap ok or cancel next we have a couple of minor tweaks under settings the first one is under network and internet and you will notice here that the plus sign next to the sims menu item has been removed and if you want to add a new sim you need to go inside first and instead of tapping on the plus sign right away like the stable version and also when you go to the same screen you will notice some differences in the wording here it says download a new eSIM instead of saying download a SIM 
And under settings and then notifications, you will see here that the app settings has been renamed to app notifications. Now let me show you a couple of new exciting features that we should expect in the upcoming builds of Android 14. And they have been shared by Mesha Rahman. The first one is the single app screen recorder. This feature will allow the recorder to stick only to one app. And when you quit this app, it will show a blank screen until you get back to this app later. So here's how it looks. All you need to do is to tap on the screen recording tile and then it shows the app you want. It will show you the list of open apps here at the bottom of the screen. When you choose the app, it will stick to it. So all the notifications or everything you get on the screen other than this app will not be recorded. And that's a great feature for your privacy. The second one is the ability to save your app pairs from the recent apps screen by tapping on any of the icons at the top and you will get here in the overlay menu a new option called save app pair. So if you rely on the split screen feature frequently, this feature will be very useful. And it's also expected to give you a home screen shortcut for this app pair so you can get back to it faster. Now let's talk about my experience with this build so far. At first, my battery performance was extremely poor and I couldn't spot any reason behind it but it seems like the problem is related to the google app and google started to roll out a fix on the server side so i started also to notice a big difference in my battery performance after this fix and now i can get through the day without any issues secondly when it comes to stability it's much better when compared to beta one but to set your expectations you will still face some weird and random bugs here and there your phone might freeze all of a sudden but it happens less frequent and i do recommend waiting for beta 3 if you want to get a better or a stable build on android 14. now let me end this video by showing you how to get the new pixel fold wallpapers on your normal pixel phone and enjoy this new satisfying animation every time you unlock your device as per the Google News Group on Telegram, this work has been done by a developer called TRZ Pro and the APK download link is in the chat as well. But you need to keep three important points in mind. First, the, you will get a pop-up from Google Play Protect saying that this app is suspicious. So it's your call if you want to continue with it or not. Secondly, the wallpaper doesn't rotate to landscape mode and also there are some broken animations uh, every now and then when you use the wallpaper but so far on my 7 pro it works good i only see this weird glitch when i lock the device from the home screen but other than this it works great once you install the apk all you need to do is to go to the wallpaper and the style app change wallpaper then scroll all the way down until you find live wallpapers and here you will get two versions this is the second one so let me show it to you really quick this is how it looks on the home screen and this is what happens when you unlock the device. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the extra features I spotted in Android 14 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything else. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.